The Kazakh theatre troupes and soloists perform many times at the world's best venues. Kazakh culture attracts international attention for its unique and authentic musical traditions and folk songs. It proves that true art speaks the language of harmony. Being the oldest theatre in Kazakhstan, Abai Kazakh State Academic Theatre of Opera and Ballet has a rich history as a keeper of traditions. But the theatre is also open for something new and progressive. The theatre was founded in 1933. Known far beyond the borders of our country, the theatre often goes on tours. Its chronicles even tell about the tours in Georgia in 1955. And now, after a long time, Kazakh music is performed here again. Tbilisi, the ancient city, its history lasts not less than 16 centuries. It's no surprise that the word "warm" mentioned in its name, because Tbilisi stands on hot sulfur springs. The warm temperature of the capital of Georgia is traced in all elements: the gentle sun, drinks and cuisine, in smiles of local residents, and in the depths of their comprehension of the world, including culture. This observation platform, which can be reached using the funicular, offers a stunning view. Here you will find both the view of the river, the old city, and the new forms of futuristic architecture. You can also see main temple of art, which hosts the brightest event of the cultural life of Tbilisi. Tbilisi Zakaria Palyashvili Opera and Ballet State Theater was founded 167 years ago. It is situated on Rustaveli Avenue. The grand facade is lined with terracotta stripes, stained glass windows, and pointed arches. The pseudo Moorish style of the building gives a significant impression. The statue of the legendary person of Georgian classical music, Zakaria Palyashvili, is situated in a cozy public garden. Over its long history, the building has experienced several fires. Large-scale restoration brought a new life to this building, and the theater doors are ready to welcome its visitors. Kazakh theater will perform in three days. Abai, you know what it means for us. You know what Abai means for us, for our people, for the country. This opera is accosted with four geniuses: Abai, the libretto is written by Mukhtar Awezov, the music written by Ahmed Jubanov and Latif Hamidi. This is a magnificent opera, which was staged in German language in Germany. We also staged it in Paris, France. The performance is always a huge success. The guests and hospitable hosts talk about upcoming performances, exchange memorable souvenirs in the painted press hall of the Georgian Theater. The Georgian audience is glad to welcome the troupe of the oldest theater in Kazakhstan. During a 40-year history, this is the first time when both the opera and ballet troupes came on tour. We recently staged the performance in Italy. We took part in various festivals. We are also pleased to welcome guests in our country. We love guests. Once again, I want to say welcome. It is a great pleasure to welcome such a wonderful theater with lovely team from an amazing cultural city. Believe me, I know your culture very well. Almost all the entire team of the Almaty Theatre went on tour. Soloists, choir soloists, ballet troupe, orchestra musicians, directors, and decorators. In total, more than 200 people. The team includes stars and laureates of international competitions and festivals. The theatre tours around the cities of Kazakhstan and abroad as part of the modernization of Kazakhstan's identity program. Last year, the troupe presented masterpieces of opera and ballet art in Italy. It is always very exciting. New audience. How will the viewer welcome us? Moreover, the viewer of a different culture, nation, with a different mentality. Will they understand our performance? And we, as always, choose a win-win option. This is our national heritage. This is our opera, which is the brand of our theater. We want other countries to learn about our culture through this opera. They knew that our culture was based on national traditions, but also underwent changes through the development of classical art. And everyone who heard this opera in France, in Germany, and Italy noticed that this opera is the pinnacle of classical opera art. A few years ago, Italian masters were invited to create an updated version of the work. More than 160 costumes were made, an animated video projection, and new mechanical decorations were created. 
All the scenery and costumes were delivered in 10 days. It is necessary to set up the decorations. We have similar stages in this theatre because it is also a classical theatre. Scenes in terms of the technical parameters are the same. Sometimes we stage on small scenes. We have to change something in the scenery and adapt to new stage. This is the first opera performance that comes on tour. We hope everything will be fine. Before the theatre arrived, we had negotiations for three months and we held daily talks. So everything is prepared. There should be no problem. A new scene is always a challenge, so is to say. Other laws of acoustics and voice are taken into account at each rehearsal before the show. For Zarina Altinbaeva, the performance in Georgia is an exciting experience. This is her debut in the play as Azhar. For me, this opera is special. I wanted to play that part for a long time. This is my first part in the Kazakh language. This role is very complex emotionally. In the beginning, it is a chase. They run away with Aidar, then the wedding, and in the end comes the death. And you have to go through all these emotions in two hours. You know, I cry at the end of each rehearsal. Yesterday when I cried, the director came to me and said, Zarina, you need to do your best and present our country, Kazakhstan, in Georgia with pride. Honored worker of Kazakhstan, Talgad Kuzinbayev performed the main part in the opera. A person whose voice is widely known among many Kazakh people. The whole country wakes up and falls asleep with him. The performer of the national anthem considers this role to be one of the leading roles in his career. We always open our tours with Abai Opera. This time, our team includes young performers and we're glad to share our experience with them. The production is based on the immortal work of Mukhtar Awezov. It is an honor for us to present Kazakh culture to the Georgian public. This opera is a tragedy that may find a response in the soul of the local audience. A masterpiece that cannot be rewritten. Abai Opera is staged since 1944 at the Almaty Theatre. Kulyash Baisitova and Yermek Serkebaev once took part in this performance. Now young talented performers, graduates of national schools and conservatories have the opportunity to perform in this play. We have a large and talented team, which includes 600 people and only 350 out of these are creative workers. We have a difficult but interesting job. In the morning, we rehearse the play. In the evening, we stage another play. The next day, we are rehearsing another play. This is our daily routine. It is challenging and exciting part of our job, but we are incredibly happy. Finally, the moment comes when the performance starts. Lovers on the stage try to save their love. The history of Kazakh Romeo and Juliet was shown to Georgian audiences with English subtitles. But what is happening on the stage speaks louder than words. Music and voices of the soloists speak directly to the heart. The universal dramatic language of the Abai opera confirms its success abroad. The story, built according to the classic Shakespeare's plays, is understandable to anyone. The play is rich with arias, ensembles and choral pieces. In fact, Kazakh music is not as simple and primitive as it seems. It is not so easy to orchestrate for a classical orchestra. And the composers tried to put this music in order so that the music develops step by step. There is a climax and recession. The composers knew how to adapt Kazakh music to the European opera standard. It includes dances and choral pieces for soloists. It united many genres in one. The Abai opera has no temporal and spatial boundaries. It is received well everywhere, and therefore it is an immortal masterpiece. 
It speaks about those things that are interesting to all nations. The clash of the old way of life and education promoted by great Kazakh writer Abai. The tragedy of lovers Aidar and Azhar. I watch this opera through the eyes of the Georgian public. Every time I explore my own opera, which I know by heart in a new light. And each time I comprehend it like the Italians or Georgians. You find new ideas from a new perspective. This is great. It says that we are happy to have such a good opera. It is an inexhaustible source of new ideas and inspiration. Our team is always in search of new things. We also work hard to improve our performance. The opera's dynamic plot keeps the viewer wondering until the very end. The whole range of emotions is reflected in the ovations. The performances was very well received by Georgian audiences. You know, I heard a lot about Kazakh culture. And when I first saw the examples of Kazakh culture, I was so impressed. For me, it was a new discovery. For example, Kazakh early medieval architecture. This is something that we do not have. We are delighted that Kazakh Solwis is performed today for us. We now know more about your great people and your culture. People as artists of Georgia and famous baritone Ildar Gitsadze also attended the event. His students performed in all theaters in the world. Almost 15 years ago, he gave master classes for the soloists of the Abai Kazakh State Academic Theater of Opera and Ballet. Almaty Theatre is something close to me, and I listen to your music, and, and I am very glad that the performance is well received by our viewers. I hope we will cooperate in the future, and our theatre will stage the performances in your country. And your theatre will come to us again. This is called a true friendship. Your soloist has showed a very good performance. I especially like the main actress. Her voice is very nice, especially her soft singing. And the music is very pleasant, and I am very glad that I have this opportunity to attend this event. The Tbilisi audience did not let the soloists leave the stage for a long time. The Abai State Academy Opera and Ballet Theatre opened its 85th theatre season. <laughs> Kazakh President Nur Sultan Nazarbayev said that we must preserve our ethnic spirit, culture and identity of the Kazakh people. Our musicians have unique chance to present our cultural heritage to the whole world. The local audience admired our musical and dance traditions. The importance of such tours is not only the promotion of Kazakh culture, it is also a recognition that the soloist needs to take off to a new level. Inspiration. They need the applause not only from our viewers, but also from the viewers in another country. They understand that our country is recognized all over the world. Our musicians can perform in the world's best venues. We performed in Rome, in the largest concert hall near the Vatican. The viewer always welcomes us with great respect. The musician always needs support. The musician needs applause. Then they have inspiration to create more and to grow as professionals. They have great desire to bring something new. И у него есть стремление к чему-то еще э, более высокому. The performance of Abais's immortal opera has already included in the history of the theater at Rustavelli Avenue. As part of the tour, the Kazakh team will present the classical ballet, The Fountain of Bakhchisarai. And the Georgian audience will attend the final gala concert. The concert program includes the masterpieces of the Kazakh classics. 
We will tell more about the concert in the next series of the Art Global Program. 